Hello everyone, welcome to this series on how to install the Meeting Room Booking System onto a Debian-based server. Uh, MRBS is a room booking system that you can use to obviously book rooms, but you can also change things around to uh, have it so that you can book other items as well. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to get your server in good shape uh, to begin the installation process. And then from there, we'll, we'll go through uh, each step uh, that's listed on the instructions on the MRBS website. So the first thing we'll do is just pop over to the um, MRBS site. And you can get to the site yourself by going to mrbs.sourceforge.io. And the first thing uh, we're presented with is the introduction page. This is all um, well worth going through. Uh, check out the, the entire website um, to get more information. Uh, but what we're interested in right now is looking at documentation. And I think the only thing I'm going to look at today is just this install page here. So if we go ahead and click on that, um, we get all the requirements for uh, the server that we intend to install MRBS on. Uh, so as you can infer from the instructions here, this system is pretty much based on your standard LAMP stack, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Uh, so I'm going to show you the steps uh, that you need to go through to make sure you have everything installed that um, MRBS depends on. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is just open up a shell. And you can get into your own server however you like. Use PuTTY um, if you're on Windows. Uh, I'm, I'm using a virtual Linux system, so I'm just going to use uh, the terminal to SSH into uh, the server that I intend to put MRBS on. And to do that, um, I'm doing this all in virtual environments, so I'm just going to use an IP address. Uh, so I'll just SSH in my username for the server that I want to put this on. And then uh, 3.20.133. Uh, and then I just put in the, the IP address for the server. And of course, it helps to put in the proper IP address. There we go. And so uh, if this is the first time you're logging into a server, you'll get the uh, key fingerprint warning. Um, and of course, I do want to continue. Uh, put in my password. Okay, let's just clear the screen. All right, so the very first thing that we want to do before uh, we go any further is we want to make sure our system is up to date. I think it's a really good idea in this case to be using a modern operating system. It says here that um, you know we can use uh, MySQL uh, 5.5.3 and above, uh, which would probably be fine with older operating systems, um, and it also relies on PHP and we can have 5.4.0 uh, uh, or above however I think it's a good idea to start using PHP 7 so that way in the future when you're required to update to PHP 7 um, it won't be an issue for you so uh, so like I said I'm, I'm doing this on a Debian 10 operating system um, and I think you know if you're using Ubuntu or something like that uh, you would probably want 18 or above so what we're gonna do is do uh, an update so sudo apt update and I think it's been a while so I, I'll pause the video and come back when it's done okay so once we get the updates we can upgrade to all of those updates um, and we'll do that with sudo apt upgrade. And again, this will take a while, so I'll pause the video and come back when it's done. OK, now that the upgrades have been done, uh, just a little housekeeping. I like to run sudo apt um, auto remove. Or you could do auto purge to make sure you get everything out that that needs to be removed. So sudo apt auto purge 
and yes. Okay, so once we've removed all of those old files that are no longer needed by the operating system, um, we can begin installing the other three components that we need in our LAMP stack. So we already have Linux, uh, preferably uh, a modern version of it. Um, and everything that I'm doing here is all kind of based on uh, Debian-based commands, so uh, this should work in Ubuntu as well. So what I'm going to do first is install the web server. So in this case, I'm going to use Apache 2. Um, I don't know if others, how well others work. Um, Apache 2 is, is all I have used in, in building this system. And to install it, uh, we will just run sudo app install Apache Two, and that should install pretty quickly. Okay, so that takes care of the web server. Now we need to install our database, um, and MariaDB is kind of the standard with Debian-based systems these days, so uh, that is what I will use. I'm going to run sudo apt install Maria db dash uh, server and yes okay so now we have our database installed um, for those of you that are doing this in production or want uh, greater security you can run the sudo mysql um, under whoops underscore secure underscore installation and um, so this this will just allow for you to have uh, greater security because this is a test environment I'm not gonna go through the steps of doing this um, I just wanna keep things fairly simple so I'm just gonna hit control uh, C uh, to get out of this but if if you are interested in making things more secure then go ahead and run that just be sure you remember what your root password is uh, the basic installation, uh, the root user for MySQL or MariaDB, which is a derivative of MySQL, doesn't have you set up a password um, when you first install it. So uh, this is a way to do that. There are other ways of doing it, but we're not going to mess around with that in, in this series. This is going to focus specifically on um, MRBS and how to install it. So I'm just going to do Control C to get out of there. Uh, let's clear the screen and uh, so now we have uh, our database installed uh, next what we want to do is install PHP and all of the extensions that are required for MRBS and there really isn't I don't think there's really much that we need to install that's uh, not standard uh, they do say that uh, if you want internationalization and I'm not sure what that means uh, you need to uh, also include the uh, I, ICONV PHP extension. Um, in any case, let's uh, let's install PHP. So sudo apt install PHP. Uh, we don't have to specify the version at this point. Debian 10 default is uh, the most current version of PHP. Um, and we also need our database to be able to communicate via PHP so uh, we're going to install the lib Apache 2 dash oops mod dash PHP and we're also going to install PHP dash my SQL so that uh, PHP can communicate with the database and we'll go ahead and hit enter Yes, and this will take a little while, so I will stop and restart when it's done. Okay, and just as an example about uh, the PHP extension, um, what we've run here should include all of the extensions we need, but uh, in case you're curious, uh, you, to do to install uh, like this uh, ICONV expans uh, expansion, you can do that by sudo apt php dash um, i c o n whoops i c o n v um, normally when you're told what extension uh, 
you need to use you can just do PHP dash and then whatever that extension is 90% uh, of the time that works for me so uh, sudo apt PHP and enter so I didn't do the full command there so sudo apt install PHP and uh, so it was already installed uh, when we when we installed PHP so we're all good there and at this point that's really all you need uh, to get your server up and running so we installed um, on our modern Linux system we installed Apache 2 we installed MariaDB and we installed PHP and the necessary extensions uh, for it. Now the MRBS documentation has a little bit more information uh, under requirements. A lot of this is stuff that I'm not familiar with uh, so I won't get into that um, but for those of you that um, do understand this I suspect that that's some pretty valuable information. Uh, so now that we have our server in good shape, what we're going to do over the course of the next three videos is uh, the video after this we'll look at installing MRBS files onto our web server. Uh, the video after that we will create all of the tables that we need in our database in order for MRBS to operate. Uh, and then the very last video we will look at configuring MRBS and of course at that point we'll be able to actually test things out and look at it. Uh, these first couple of steps we're not really going to be able to, to view anything uh, until we get through uh, the entire process. So um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.